You can know a lot about a person by what they value and who they honor. Are you honoring godless men? Are you honoring godless women? Are you honoring godless music? Are you honoring godless literature? Are you honoring godless movies? See, we can know a lot about a person by what they honor. When you give honor to God, then you get the favor with God and favor with man. Favor from one person can change your life forever. When you honor someone, it opens the door and changes your relationship with that person. Because now it qualifies you for a far different relationship than you had before. This is why we need to honor our leaders. You need to honor those that are serving you, blessing you. You need to honor the person that writes your paycheck. You know, some people think that they're just entitled to a paycheck because they're so beautiful and they showed up. We need to honor the people that pay us. We need to honor the man that took the risk to start the company. That hired you, that didn't know who you are. And that man that writes a check to you should honor him. Because if you honor him, you'll find out that you'll have favor with God and with man. Because you're operating in one of the kingdom principles of God. Honor will take you before the people that you need to meet. The Lord told me, if you'll humble yourself before men, I'll, 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 I'll bring you before kings. Some people can't honor people because they're full of pride. But you know, the man that will bow before God, God will bring them before kings. The man that will humble himself before men, God will bring them before kings. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will exalt you in due time. And that what the word says. When you honor somebody, it puts you in a different position than you've ever been in your life. That's how you get to that place you're trying to get to. Honor opens the door for blessing. Honor opens the door for blessing. Is anybody getting anything out of this? He says here, verse 9, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. Honor the Lord with the first fruits of all your increase. Notice that's not even in the book of Malachi. And then he says, what will happen? If you honor God with the first of your increase, what will happen? He said, then your barns will be filled with plenty. Some people don't even have a barn. He's given us, he's showing us something. Or you know what? You know, there's some people that are poor because they won't honor God. You love Jesus, you pray, you shout, you jump, you run around the church, but you don't honor God. You know, there's truth. Let me tell you this. Do you know that prayer never makes anybody wealthy? I know lots of people. My grandmother was a tremendous praying woman, but she never got wealthy through prayer. Prayer alone won't make you wealthy. We had a debt cancellation service here last week where we believe in God to help us with our debts, help us overcome these burdens, break the yokes, break the slavery, break the debt. Amen. But now guess what? Every time we come to God and we're expecting something from God, God's looking. He's watching us to see if we'll make a decision. Every time you want a breakthrough, a miracle, you want God to do something for you, God will require you to make a decision. He's watching us. Somebody say he's watching us. See, when we, when we walk in faith, we position ourselves for breakthrough. Faith will move you from one place to the other. When you honor God with your substance, it opens the windows of heaven for you. Are you listening to me? If a man will not honor God, he will not honor you. 